Beth, regular pancakes are fine. Shame <laughs> to be ourselves! My god! I Rick expresses his disgust for the quality of modern television and replaces the Smith family's normal cable box with a device that allows them to watch shows from infinite realities. Rick flips through the channels to show the endless possibilities, including a reality where Jerry is a famous actor. Jerry, Beth, and Summer, excited, beg Rick to show them their alternate lives. He pulls out a pair of interdimensional goggles that will allow them to see through the eyes of their alternate selves. Morty stays with Rick, and the two continue to watch various commercials and clips from alternate realities. Jerry, Beth, and Summer take turns using the goggles. Jerry sees himself snorting piles of cocaine with Johnny Depp, while Beth sees herself operating on a person instead of a horse. Summer, however, finds that she does not exist in most realities, with those she exists in being largely unchanged. Jerry and Beth confessed to Summer that she was an unwanted pregnancy that they initially were going to abort, and that her birth prevented them from achieving their goals. This greatly upsets Summer, and she announces her plans to run away. While Summer begins to pack her bags, Morty attempts to console her. He shows Summer the graves that he and Rick dug in their backyard in the episode Rick Potion No. 9, confessing that the Morty from her reality is dead and he is her brother from another reality. He then concludes by saying, Nobody exists on purposey. Nobody belongs anywhere. Everybody's gonna die. Come watch TV. Summer agrees to stay, and the two of them go back downstairs to watch TV with Rick. Jerry returns to the living room and tells Morty that he and Beth have decided to spend some time apart. The television suddenly shows the alternate reality Jerry having a nervous breakdown, driving a mobility scooter on a freeway in a low-speed chase by police. They watch as alternated Jerry arrives at the doorstep of alternated Beth, telling her that he hates his life and regrets not continuing their relationship. Having seen how important their relationship is to each other, Beth and Jerry rush back into each other's arms. In the post credit sequence, the Smith family is watching the news from a hamster and butt world. They ask Rick a wide variety of questions about the world until he begrudgingly creates a portal to it so they can find the answers for themselves. The family then spends a pleasant vacation in Hamster and Butt World. All day. Oh, family vacation! Summer works in an antique shop run by the devil, under the alias of Lucius Needful, which gives away items that come with harmful curses. After Rick is given a microscope that would have greatly diminished his intelligence, he develops technology that can quantify evil and detect curses. This aftershave made women want me, but it also made me impotent! A prize for everything. Uh, this huh? serum should uh, counteract the negative effects. Holy cow! You can have this back. You didn't use it? Sure I did. To develop this, it detects a... A typewriter that generates best-selling murder mysteries and then makes them... Also makes them blind? I find this all quite preposterous. Oh, I say good stuff. Rick then sets up a competing shop where he uses science to remove the curses, and the devil is put out of business. Summer helps him to successfully relaunch the shop online as N33 to full, but he betrays her and keeps the company for himself. Rick has become bored with running a business and burns the shop down. Then he and Summer build muscle and publicly beat up the devil to get revenge. Action you're after. I think I might have an idea. That's what she was. Open up the door to spill. Let the non-stop pop out and stay still. Go hard getting the enemy. No matter how many cats I break bread with, I'll break who you sit. And that's how I took- Stupid motherfucker. Stupid words. Stupid motherfucker. Someone else to pay a horrible price. Who? <laughs> <laughs> we just pulled it off. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Jerry, helping Morty with a model solar system as a science fair project, insists that Pluto is a planet, going so far as to lobby NASA to reinstate its planetary status. They are abducted by Plutonians to their planet, where Jerry is mistaken for a scientist. His statements about Pluto being a planet make him instantly popular. 
Morty is told by Scroopy Noopers, a leading Plutonian scientist, that Pluto is shrinking due to corporate plutonium mining, which will ultimately lead to its destruction, and that the Plutonian leadership is keeping the population distracted by assuring them Pluto is still a planet. Morty fails to convince Jerry of Pluto's diminishing size and the resultant cover-up, returning to Earth in frustration. However, after witnessing the arrest of Scroopy Noopers and hearing Flippy Nips, the king of Pluto and Scroopy Noopers' father, let slip that Pluto is in fact a celestial dwarf. Jerry tells the Plutonian citizens the truth and denounces himself in a public speech, causing him to be hated and deported back to Earth. Jerry apologizes to Morty and asks if they could finish his science fair project, but Morty tells him that he instead plans to hand in a robot built by Rick to pass butter. In a post credit scene, Summer and Rick use their new muscle mass to beat up a neo-Nazi, a bully, a member of the Westboro Baptist Church, and an abusive dog owner, as X Gone Give It To Ya by DMX plays in the background. The show's original Rick is wrongfully accused of murdering 27 Ricks from alternate dimensions and kidnapping their respective Mortys. The Transdimensional Council of Ricks arrests him and finds him guilty, Upon discovering incriminating evidence which was actually fabricated to frame him, Rick and Morty escape and are chased by a few duplicatus of themselves. The Smith household is fluted with other Ricks, and Jerry develops a friendship with the good nature of doofus Rick. The real culprit seem to be an evil Rick, who has a facial scar, and his Morty, who wears an eye patch, who have been using Morty's intelligence brainwaves as a way to conceal themselves. They capture the original Rick and Morty, but the original Morty leads a rebellion of alternate Mortys and releases the original Rick. It's quite a life, Rick. It's a real shame you're not going to be around to see it through. You're crying over if there's any truth in the universe. It's that Ricks don't care about Mortys. Oh, help me! Do it! Do it! Thank God! Get me out! <clears throat> no time for arcs! Rick informs the council about the real killer, thus clearing his own name. After Rick and Morty depart, the council discovers that evil Rick was a mindless cyborg being controlled remotely. As the Rickless Mortys leave to board a ship, evil Rick's Morty removes his eye patch, revealed to be evil Rick's controller, stomps on it, and blends into the crowd. In the post credits scene, Jerry waves at Doofus Rick from the window, prompting Rick to make fun of him. Are you friends with him? You know he eats his own shit, right? Oh my god. Jerry and Beth participate in a reenactment of Titanic, but the ship unexpectedly fails to sink. Ladies and gentlemen, don't brace yourselves. <laughs> Jerry spends some time alone with Lucy, a female janitor who eventually proves to be a deranged fan of the movie forcing him to imitate scenes with her at gunpoint. She almost rapes Jerry, but Beth saves him. Draw me, Jerry. Oh, boy. L Moment, we've been dreaming about this for 16 years. Uh, well, not like this. Not the fuck me in that car over there. Titanic experience in this car, and I have to mop it up. The floor nice and steamy in there, and I'm going to slam my hand on the steam and leave a n no clean. <laughs> Beth! Bet you're glad I think Kindles are dumb now. Yo, Meanwhile, Rick is left in charge of Morty and Summer, oh, but they have a large party. Among the guests are teenagers, aliens, Gearhead, Squanchy, alternate Ricks, and Aberdolf Linkler, a DNA combination of Adolf Hitler and Abraham Lincoln. Not only do they make a mess, but the whole house is accidentally sent into another dimension, where Linkler seemingly dies. He actually survives. Ultimately, the guests are sent away, and the house is returned to its place. Rick, Morty, and Summer only have minutes to spare before Beth and Jerry arrive, so they use a contraption to freeze time, allowing them to repair the house. They watch Titanic and unanimously agree on how terrible it is. Wow. 
worst movie Dumb. ever. Oh boy, what a- It's been so much fun. Hey Rick, you know this whole time, I haven't once heard you say that- Oh yeah? W what's that, Rick? I love my grandkids. Oh. Psych, just kidding, my- Let me see what you got, just shake that ass, bitch, and let me see what you got. Roll credits, that's the end, motherfucker! I don't give a fuck, is my new catchphrase! In the post credit scene, giant alien beasts repeatedly insert and remove Linkler and a teenager from the party in their bodies. Oh, please. Stop! You like this? Yeah, you know it, dog! 